Welcome to the PDGA Rules School. I'm Sarah Hokum, here to help you learn the basics of the official rules of disc golf. Welcome, Welcome to Rules School. Episode five, the putting area. In the previous episode, we looked at the rules that regulate our stance when throwing shots from the tee pad or from mark lies along the fairway. We noted that the rules allowed us to begin our run-up and finish our follow-throughs outside of the area of the lie, so long as we're making contact at the moment of release. Things change significantly when we enter the putting area. If the distance from the front of your lie to the base of the target is less than 10 meters, your throw is considered a putt. When the front of the lie is inside the putting area, the rule no longer allows us to follow through past our lie, like we can in the fairway. Instead, players must demonstrate balance after releasing the putt and before advancing towards the basket. Whether or not you demonstrated balance is determined by the other players in your group. If a member of your group calls a stance violation and another confirms the call, your putt will still count, but you'll receive a one throw penalty, which is added to your score for that hole. Even if the disc has already come to rest in the basket, a stance violation can be called if you fail to demonstrate balance after putting. While you can no longer advance past your lie in the putting area, the rest of the normal rules for stance and lie still apply. Lies are marked by the thrown disc at rest or with a mini marker, and you can still step to the side as long as one point of contact is on the lie. Taking advantage of these points can be useful for getting a clear look at the basket. Outside of the 10 meter circle, the rules allow for a variety of putting techniques like jump putts and step putts, where the player moves beyond their marker after releasing the disc. Many players find that these techniques help add power and accuracy to their long range putts, but be careful. You can be called for a stance violation if you're in the air when the disc leaves your hand. Sometimes the circle is marked by paint. If no markings are present, your group can decide whether or not your lie is inside the putting area or out. With an understanding of these rules, you can now go and give yourself the best look at sinking a putt. For more information on the putting area, including more specific examples, visit pdga.com slash rules.